Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going over 10 TV show stars who are now working regular jobs. But before we continue, make sure to click that subscribe button, drop a like, and leave a comment to see more videos. So let's get right into it. Starting off at number one, we have Jack Gleason. Go, tell her. But first you will get to Lord and Lady Stark, and you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are. Jack Gleason is best known for his role as Joffrey Bartheon on HBO's Game of Thrones. After his character was killed off, he decided to step away from the spotlight at the age of 21 so he could pursue his education. Gleason told Entertainment Weekly he had been acting since he was 8 years old and that acting isn't what he wanted to do in the long term. He said acting was just a hobby for him. Gleason went on to complete his studies in theology and philosophy. The Herald's son reported he now works in a small theater company. Coming in at number two, we have Danny Lloyd. Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah, I guess so. If you ever seen the 1980 horror film, The Shining, then you're probably familiar with the little boy who played Danny Torrance, the son of the main character, Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson. Danny Lloyd is all grown up and no longer running through snow-covered mazes. Today, Lloyd is a biology teacher in Kentucky. You were so funny, you blind person. You almost looked like you could see what you were doing. <laughs> At number three, Gene Hackman. Got one great coming from the county budget. <laughs> And those of you who rode yesterday, you get one drink for that, too. <laughs> Actor Gene Hackman is best known for his appearance in the movies, Enemy of the State, The Firm, and The Unforgiven. The 87-year-old left Hollywood in 2004 after appearing in the film Welcome to Mooseport. He is now an author of historical fiction novels. Between 2004 and 2008, Hackman co-wrote four books with Danny Lian, Wake Up the Perdido Star, Justice for None, Vermilion, and Escape from Andersonville. In addition, he was the solo author of the books Playback at Morning Peak and Pursuit. You fat man. Speak up. At number four, we have Freddie Prince Jr. Gene Hackman isn't the only actor who traded Hollywood for a writing career. Freddie Prince Jr. now makes a living as a voiceover artist and most recently as a cookbook author. Prince released a cookbook in 2016 titled Back to the Kitchen. The former actor is no stranger to the kitchen. He said in his book he would often cook alongside his mother before he appeared on the big screen in movies such as I Know What You Did Last Summer and She's All That. He was ready to attend culinary school. However, when he got his first big acting role, he decided to choose acting instead. She uh, had growing up, or your spins on her recipes, right? Yeah, a lot of spins on her recipes. Also recipes that I got being on location, making funny movies, and I didn't want just a book that only... Coming in at number five, we have Kevin Jonas. This where my high wheels stay. Took you as fast, but I'm not winded. The singer Kevin Jonas rose to stardom during his time as a performer with the Jonas Brothers. Personally, one of my all-time favorite bands when I was a kid. After the band broke up in 2013, Jonas focused on creating apps. He created an app called Yood, which displays nearby restaurants serving the type of food you pick from a menu. It also features the restaurant's Yelp rating and phone number, so you can conveniently place an order. The desert's hot cause there's no rain. You can laugh, but it's not funny. At number six, we have Jeff Cohen. I just saw the most amazing thing in my entire life. First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Actor Jeff Cohen is best known for his role as Chuck in the 1985 film The Goonies. His last acting role was in the 1991 television movie called Perfect Harmony. After Cohen hung up his acting hat for good, he decided to take a totally different direction and become an entertainment lawyer. After graduating from law school, he founded Cohen Gardner Law. He also penned the book The Deal Maker's Ten Commandments. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Coming in at number seven, we have Jonathan Bennett. Yes, you are. Dancing with the Stars and Mean Girls. Yeah, and so the I, host of Tonight. And the host of Tonight. Yeah. You are a very busy man. Busy. So I want to know, who is your... This actor had one foot in Hollywood and the other one in a regular job. Actor Jonathan Bennett is best known for his roles in Mean Girls and Cheaper by the Dozen 2. For a brief time, Bennett took a short break from acting to pursue his love for fitness. ABC News reported he taught spin classes at Flywheel Studio in Los Angeles. After the acting break, Bennett returned to entertainment. The actor is now host on Food Network's Cake Wars and MTV's karaoke show, Copycat. Personally, I would love to be on that Copycat show, but I got the voice of a broken angel. You know, I think I need a tutor. I'll tutor you if you ever want to get together after school or something. Do you think Regina would mind? No, you guys are friends. Moving right along, coming in at number eight, we have Peter Ostrom. Like something that I would really like to do. And I had the opportunity to... Peter Ostrom is known for his role as Charlie Bucket in the 1971 film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This was Ostrom's only acting role. After the film, he focused on living a regular life and eventually went to Cornell University College of Veterinary Medicine to study veterinary science. He's now a veterinarian at Countyside Veterinarian Clinic in Lowville, New York, where he specializes in dairy, cattle, and horses. So all these girls are going to be milked right now? Dairy cows, in order for them to produce milk, we have to... Coming in at number nine, we have Charlie Korsma. Charlie Cosmo had an exciting career as a childhood actor, appearing in films such as Hook, Dick Tracy, and What About Bob? After his acting career began to wind down, Cosmo decided to focus on school. He later attended the Massachusetts Institution of Technology, also known as MIT for short, where he received a bachelor's degree in physics. He then went to Yale University to study law. Cosmo now works as a law professor at Case Western Reverse University School of Law. Coming in at number 10, we have Michael Schufling. Yeah, it's just they don't, they don't have the balls to admit, you know what I mean? I mean, they're just, they're wimps. Samantha is, uh, she's really special, you know? If you grew up during the 80s, it's likely you were a fan of teen romantic comedies that were popular during that time. One actor you might have seen on the big screen is Michael Schufling. Schufling is best known for his roles in Sixteen Candles and Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. It is reported he left Hollywood to work as a carpenter and run a woodworking shop. And that's all we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Leave a like, drop a comment. Until next time, bye.